Hello, YouTube. As some of you may remember, I trash picked an Intel Pentium B a while ago in the garbage. The RAM was 1 gig in that motherboard, but I had 2 gigs of DDR2 800 MHz memory laying around for no use. So I thought, why the hell? They should work with that motherboard, even though it's a 553 megahertz or whatever. So it's a slower motherboard than the memory, but the memory is downclocked, so that didn't do too much. But I did put it together, and this will be a um, like guest computer. So down here we got the CPU fan, awful computer case to work with though, but it was the last one I had so I really don't have a choice. So in here went the 7800 GT graphics card, a Sunblaster Adid GT2 as you can see. It Called, let's see if I can see the model number SB0240. So I got that in here. Then I got Voodoo 2 SLI. One card is kind of bent, but it does work. So I will need to fix say, that SATA cable so it doesn't like bend the card. This slot down here, I have no clue what that is for the blue slot. Uh, and because the motherboard stopped, I used the uh, three brackets for the USB and stuff like that. It's a shame to waste those three. And my El Crapo 500 watt Ace power supply uh, gone into this build. Uh, I did put together a 16 uh, adapter thingy that I fixed like here so yeah that gives the graphics card some power and yeah I only have one good graphics card but that would be plenty for this rig I have done some 3D marks I will post the results after this video here you can see the two gigs of Kingston the memories are running at what speed? I think it says on the motherboard dual channel FSB 800 from side box, I guess that means. Um, what the fuck? I thought it would say. Oh, 533 megahertz. So that's what the memories are running in, the clock speed of the memories. I got a hard drive, 15 gigs, 5400 RPM, ID drive. Uh, it's not an ATA, it's just an AT drive. I got a floppy drive though. Floppy cable. Oh, the floppy cable. I need to update that because this will do as a um, nostalgic rig and a somewhat up-to-date gaming rig for like guests that come over here and want to play games and I am tired of doing virus scans and everything but it works um, you can spin the spam actually the 4 pin cable that goes on top of here almost hits the fan See if we can get a camera down here so we can actually see. No, I can't put, get the camera down even more. But yeah, this is the build so far. An old Pentium 3 case with um, sort of newer hardware. It's kind of cool because the case is so old, nobody would think it's a decent computer in there. And yeah, when I when they go and see like Call of Duty 4 and shit like that, they will go, 
in a pencil tree, how the fuck would that go together? And uh, it ain't a pencil tree. So I will need to find a cover plate for this as I don't want to put more drive in here, I don't think, because that will give it away. Maybe I put like an old burner or something in there. I don't know. It's kind of cool because it looks old and it is new. Sort of new, at least. This is the receiver for my wireless mouse. I got the mouse over here. Also trash picked. And it works. So, just wanted to show you that, my i7, still not built, still no motherboard, still no things in here, I got those in the closet though, but still not built, need to do that, my laptop, still broken, need to fix that, and I need to find two power supplies for my workstation and for the gaming rig, if you wanna trade and got a power supply, just send me a mail. My homepage is uh, changed to overclocked at neoserve.se. I will post a link in the sidebar. The old address is still working, will still work for as long as I keep it. So, yeah, that address will be with me a long time, I guess. But I used the overclocked at NeoServe because I got that for free and it sounds way cooler. So, yeah. Um, no uh, firewire on this motherboard. I don't use firewire, so I just put them over there. Yeah, that's it. Uh, take care, YouTube, and please subscribe to my videos. Bye, y'all.